Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you something very different today. I'm very excited to bring you a tutorial on the new passing mechanics in Madden 18. Um, I can't say I've seen a lot of really good, comprehensive breakdowns of this, but it's a very intricate system. And if you can master this, you will have a breeze in this game. I mean, this this system right here uh, is probably the most innovative they've been with passing since the Vision Cone. Now, the Vision Cone was pretty much hated and got discarded, I think, after like a season. So I don't know if this is going to be the same way, but I think that they really want to implement this and I really want this to be the future of the game. That's why you're seeing such better pass protection and such better blocking and such less uh, defensive pressure because I think they really want people to do this or use this. Um, but it's really difficult to get your to get going and to figure out. But I think you got to put the time in. I think even top players, and when you watch the tournament in a little while, I think even top players won't be able to use this on every play. But it has the ability to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get into it. I'd like to do one of these on the new running moves and the new running mechanics and stuff too. So if you guys want to see that, Make sure you hit the like button. And I'll do that next. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's pick a play at random, and I'll just give you a, a full breakdown of how this works. Like I said, it's really, uh, it's really good. I don't know a play to pick. It really doesn't matter. Now, how this passing mechanic works? Number one, I think you're gonna want to have um, as much blocking as possible. So make sure that your running back uh, is typically on a pass block. I don't think you want to play action either. I think you want to take away the play action because your read system is gonna take some time. I probably should have ran this against no defense. Um, but just to make it a little bit easier and I, I might do that a little bit later in the video uh, But for now, it's real simple. The first thing I'm gonna go over is pre-snap read uh, Pre-snap if you hold the R the RT button um, You basically now have the ability to set primary receiver if you look down in the bottom right corner there It says set primary receiver the primary receiver is the guy that's always in red and it's been in the game for a long time in the diagrams and in the play art, but now it's, uh, you can change it, which is the first time you can ever do that. How you do that is you just hold the RT, hit uh, any one of the icons you want, um, and you can see how you know it's changing. So basically, that's where your ball placement is going to start uh, when it comes to the target passing system. If I do Aguilar here, let's say, uh, which is not a great route to do because you don't have a lot of time before he gets to the sideline. You want to give yourself a little time. I think it's better used over the middle or maybe outside or you know towards the top, but you don't want to try to do it. I mean, if you, you, you would have to be like a master to be able to hit Aguilar before he hits the sideline. But either way, um, the new target passing system right here, um, you know, you're basically just going to use this to give yourself an advantage in coverages. So basically, I'm picking my target receiver. Um, and then that's it. Now that I have him set, I can start my play. The second the play starts, I'm going to hold LT and I'll show you what happens here. I might get sacked because like I said, it, it, it's, I, I'm probably going to run this against no defense here in a minute, but let's go ahead and let's just run this. I'm holding LT route the gate and you can see you have your two passing icons. You see how they, they got heat on me right away. So now I'm running it with no defense. So let's basically take a look at, um, how it looks after you snap the ball. Cause that's the most important. I'm going to send Jeffrey here on a streak by the way i think i put him on a fade but it really doesn't matter i'm just going to put him out there um, now basically um, when you snap the ball i'll show you what it looks like holding lt immediately you see you have your two passing icons this here the blue one in the middle that's where the ball is going to go okay the other one you're really just directing the receiver now the right stick is the one that's directing the receiver and this is kind of herky-jerky you can't just like freehand it. it it's it sticks you know what i mean it's like it's not like this one's loose you can you can put this nice and easy where you want it to go. But this one here, because you're, you're changing directions, it's really just like a rough change. You have to go up or, or to the left hard or to the right hard or like back here. You know what I'm saying? You can see how herky-jerky that is. You're not gonna be able to like mirror that. But the idea is you're really just setting the direction. That's almost like a playmaker option, uh, which has been in the game for a couple years now, which people use. Um, but like, you know, you really wanna just time this out. And then to throw it, you gotta hit the icon to the receiver. So I hit the icon, the X icon, obviously, because that's the X receiver. Now, like I said, pre-snap, you really get to choose, you know, where you want to go with it, but you can also change it after you snap the ball. So I'm going to hit LT again, and now if I'm holding LT, obviously I'm not paying, paying too much attention to moving these guys around, but you can immediately switch the receiver just by hitting the icon. Like right there, say I want to hit A, switches to him. Say I want to hit B, he's wide open, switches to him. Say I want to hit X, say I want to hit RB again. You see how I'm constantly switching these receivers. You have full control over your passing which I've never seen in the game. I mean, that's just amazing in my opinion. Like I said, if you can master this, um, you're really going to be, um, you know, you're just going to be be the man in this game. Um, and like I said, it's not going to be easy. I don't think a lot of people are really going to be able to master it. Um, I don't think people are going to put the time in because you don't need to. 
uh, you can run this game the same way that you always have. And I think a lot of people are going to take the easy way out because a lot of people don't learn the new functions. But like I said, you can be an absolute G in this game if you just um, learn this. So like I said, you can switch receivers like right there. Uh, the wide receiver is really good. If I, if I just hit him, if I just hit the wide receiver and I just throw it right away, it's probably the easiest way. It does it for you. It directs it for you. Um, you don't have to do too much. So let's say that, you know, I drop back and my, my Y route's my guy, but I like the B route. I can just go straight double tap B and it'll just go right to him. So if you don't think that you're stuck with one receiver, it's not the way that it is. Um, a lot of people think that because you're you're kind of, um, you know, they think you might be stuck with the red route with the with the primary receiver, but you're not. So if you're holding, uh, you're holding your LT, you can just hit double B. And it'll go right to, well, actually, I think that was X. I'm not really sure. But you can just go double to whatever receiver, and it's going to take off of that primary receiver. It'll change to the next primary receiver, and then it'll throw the ball right to it. So I think that's really good. Now, as far as, um, you know, the actual um, target mechanics itself, like I said, it's a little bit uh, rough to, uh, to get used to. So here I got the X route. I'm just going to throw... You know deep to the sideline i mean it's not the hardest but when you have actual defenders out there it's it's difficult you know what i mean it's not it's not too hard when you run it by yourself um but uh, it can be really difficult but it can also be really helpful like i said this thing is like so you know like i just want to get that let's say there's a guy tight in there see i just chuck it out the earths you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's how you want to use that. If you have like tight coverage, the target passing mechanic is just so epic. So I think I'm gonna end it there. But I'll go over one more time just in case somebody didn't pick it up. It's real simple. Uh, Pre-snap read, hold your RT button. Hopefully I'll be putting little pop-ups down there. Hold your RT button, hit the icon of the receiver you want to be the primary receiver. After the snap, you hold LT, and then your your left stick is where the ball's gonna go, and your right stick is where the um, where the where the uh, receiver's gonna go. So you have to like, kind of mirror it. And if you want to change receivers, um, just hit the uh, B icon, whatever whatever icon you want it to go to. Like the a, uh, a guy looks wide open, I just hit A, it's right there. B guy's wide open, I just hit B, it's right there. If the guy's in motion, just hit it twice. Like the RB guy was open there in motion. So I just hit it twice real quick and boom, right to him. I don't have to worry about directing it exactly. Um, so that's the easiest way I can say it. So hopefully this guy, this helps you guys out. Um, I, I think it's amazing. I love this uh, new setup uh, and I'm going to put a lot of time into it. You'll be seeing it in my gameplay videos for sure. If you guys watch my gameplay videos, please do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit out.